Let's start out by duplicating the subtool and delete the bottom poly loop. Click Auto Group, then Delete Hidden. We want to collapse the hole and then weld the points. Clone the subtool, then inset the flat island and click the repeat on the bottom. Now we can inset the polygroup island and click the repeat on the top. QMesh polygroup all while holding down shift to create the bevel. Then we can QMesh down to create the hole. Let's go ahead and click crease PG and turn on dynamic. Now I can mask the model and bring in a cylinder 3D from the gizmo. Invert the mask and split unmask points. Click on Group by Normals and Crease PG. If you hold down Alt while scaling in one axis, it will cancel out that axis and scale in the other two axes at the same time. The trick is to start scaling and then hold down the Alt key. Let's go back to the previous tool and select the threads. Then we can go back to the working tool and append the threads in. Rotate and position the threads into place. Then turn on transparency and slice in an edge loop. Let's go ahead and delete the unseen geometry and then insert an edge loop in the middle. Now we can create a new folder and place the subtools in them. This will be the base version from where we create our other models from. Go to the gear of the folder and click Duplicate. Then rename the folder and turn off the eyeball from the folder below. Move the threads down and slice in an edge loop. Now we can delete the unseen geometry. Let's go back to the original folder and duplicate it again. Rename the folder and move it to the top of the subtool list. Let's go ahead and delete the edge loop. Then unmask the top of the nut and move it up. Insert the edge loop back in the middle, then select the thread and move it up.
Folders have been a really great addition to ZBrush, not only for organization, but also the ability to select multiple subtools to move, rotate, or scale in the non-destructive Boolean process. Let's go ahead and control click on the threads and scale it up a bit. If the threads just touched the inner surface, they would fall right out. It must be scaled to penetrate past the inner wall in order to feel like real threads. Now we can append in a bolt head and clip the bottom. Inset the poly loop and Q mesh it down. Increase the edge loop and add in a control loop. Mask the model and bring in a cylinder 3D from the gizmo. Invert the mask and split on mass points, then scale it down and move it into position. Merge the subtool and click Auto Groups. 